that's sweet. That that's a twenty five minute video just the just just the first round. That's fucking awesome. That's quality shit right there. Uh, match two, guys. We got seed six, which is Wax going against my pick, Jizza Gold. Um, Wax is first. Chunky seed or chunky. Let's do it. Ah, rambling man, pocket aces in the gambling hand Putting words together hand in hand like an ampersand The repetition of the talent makes a man a man Uses evidence, the guy who painted all them Campbell's cans Make you memorize instinctively, it's random fam Like, whoa, Black Betty, and you say I stay hungry like the wolf in that Duran Duran song And dance along like I got the hammer pants on Hey, if you haven't noticed, I'm the coldest Smoke freely as if Calvin Brodus was the POTUS Shut your club down a la John Lovitz Make the board turn up a la Pop Shovitz Event sponsor should be toy machine, the boys mean Destroy your dream and turn your team into Soylent Green I'll give you something to talk about, talk about Go to a short pier and take a long walk about You ain't heard shit like my sound yet In fact, it's more rare than a dry towelette With the numbing effect of a Cortisone shot and that feeling of freedom that made the cordless phone hot. Uh, never par for the course, more like a seminar. Clever bar for the force, heavier rotation than the pedals at the Tour de France. Type of Mary Charmer that rarely garners a poor response. I'm like a dairy farmer when it comes to cheese collection, and I'm like Gary Carter when it comes to beat selection. Catch heaters or hit the upper deck bleachers. My offense and defense are my best features. Never fear, I'm here with the ever clear. Let's all together cheer in the better spirit of yesteryear. I rap like your drunk uncle behaves and say, fuck. It, I'm going in like spelunkers to caves Abstract in the fashion of Jackson Pollock Unexact like the amount of cream in a dollop I can tell I spit the type of rap that irks you Makes you uncomfortable like a Catholic church pew I should ball in F. Carnegie Hall Clogged like cholesterol on your artery wall But I half-heartedly stall Cats get lazy Other times cats get batshit crazy And I haven't felt this good since my last bender When I was singing happily like a rapping glee cast member If you know who Kenny Powers is You know that fundamentals are the Crutches of the talentless Ding bat ain't getting nothing out of this I can't even imagine how difficult your challenge is You trying to catch breaks like cameras in jails But can't do it due to amateur fails And it'll only take one bar to bury them Two bars are the beginning of barbarian Three bars in Vegas and I'm winning it all Four bars of heavy drinking's a legitimate crawl Five bars, psych Let's just say this fam I've created more bars than the makers of I'll praise a lamb It's mind boggling, bitter pill you're swallowing You and your following are taking L's like Chicago Wins. Don't cross me hoping that the memory passes I remember people's asses like the tempur mattress Any wow. further questions, Ooh. getting blown off I'll be in my backyard drinking with my phone off Chunk, chunk, chunk. <laughs> That was chunky Chunk, chunk, chunk. Yeah. That was very chunky Chunk, chunk, chunk. chunk. Not only is it funky My shit is chunky Not just funky My shit is chunky La don't to die. La don't, la don't. Oblique. Blick die. Sasquatch, a squash. Sasquatch, a squash. Sasquatch, a squeeze. My dude, look guy. My shit is chunky. The beat, the beat was goofy. The <laughs> bars were kind of goofy. You know, it's a goofy, fun, happy, lyrical fitness, fun track. Like that's fun to listen to with anybody. You, I could listen to that with my mom, and we'd probably have fun over a couple drinks listening to Wax. Like Wax, Wax is user friendly, bro. Like he, he, he appeals to everybody because he's just so good, and he's not, he's not, he's funny. He's an entertainer. He's not just trying to be some badass rapper. You know, he's having fun with it. And that's infectious. That that gets me smiling. I love it. It makes me feel good. Um, I love Wax. Uh, I, I don't know if he's got a chance against Jizza. I hope he doesn't because Jizza's my pick. Like, God bless Wax. But Jesus Christ, I hope you lose, motherfucker. I, I, always, I always lose on my own show, for God's sakes. But... Uh, <laughs> no, I like wax. That's that, that's funny, dude. It's like it's like a classic wax. Is wax doing what he does, man, and entertaining people for a good three and a half minutes. I'm going to give that a nine point two. Uh, but I got, I think he's got his hands full with Jizza. Ignacio, what are you saying? Oh man, no, there's. 
I think that plays more into the talent of how of, of wax the talent level that he possesses that beat mm-hmm. itself for, for somebody to take a beat like that which some might classify as goofy some might you know have other other thoughts on it but um i have some I, thoughts I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I actually didn't mind i didn't mind the beat at all actually it had a cool little bop to it 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 was it, it was a part uh, of the performance. I mean, it, you know, Wax Wax jumped on and did did what Wax does, and I think he was still. For me, I think Wax's charm is his delivery. He is uh, he has mastered the pockets that he finds on the beats and and the way he the wordplay that he uses to get through the pockets is I think is what what shines. Um, that being said, this is a nine for me because I really appreciate this one. This one was dope. Solid nine. Chuck, what are you saying? Um, if I never heard uh, the first or second beat in there again, I'd be happy. Um, <laughs> they were uh, no. Uh, it just it was. I think whatever. Now, granted, he he did his thing and he did his thing really well. I'll give him that. But um, those really, really short beats where, you know, you've got like, you know, just they oh, lose on such a short sample. Um, it just it grinds on me. And the uh, if he didn't change it up halfway through, then uh, like uh, I just, my brain would have exploded. I just I couldn't. It was uh, like that. That that killed it for me. Um, you know, now. He did his thing. He did his thing well. Um, the beat was like, oh, the beat killed me. Um, I, I get what he was doing with it, but I just, that was a big negative. Um, you know, no, he wasn't really saying anything, but that's kind of, you know, that's what it was. You know, it was just kind of, yeah, lyrical fitness, just bouncing around with it and having fun with it. And it was a fun track. We'll give it that. But, man, God, that beat grinded on my ears. I just, oh, so um, I'm going to. That seems like I'm, a seven for Chuck. I'm going to give it an eight because of how well he did his thing on it. Um, right. You know, normally I'd probably give it less. But, God, I I would not want to hear it again. Lady Panic, what are you saying? <laughs> that was, we're, we're, we're being um, honest, everybody. That's what the show's about. I, I'm not so familiar with Wax. I haven't heard a lot before, but um, for for this, for me, everything he did with this overcame anything about the beat that I didn't like. You know, I just I thought that it was just a really interesting flow and delivery, and really, I mean, the the wordplay on this was like a work of art. I mean, the references mm-hmm. were just they range from nostalgic to you know, Kenny Powers, relevant. Kenny Powers, yeah, um, Black Betty, I just everything. Yeah, you know, I, just, I, I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun for me. I'm gonna give it a nine point two. Nine point two, presto. Yeah, so I had to. Uh... Oh, you got the word. Got, got, got the yes. t-shirt. So this is actually a collaboration with a bass player named uh, Mono Neon. He's a he's a really really interesting bass player, like um, gospel um, uh, funk. He does some stuff cool. with uh, uh, okay. George Clinton and stuff like that. Wow. But, um, so that's why it's kind of like like uh, interesting bass wise. Um, yeah, uh, the references to me get get me the '80s references in the beginning, like uh, "Stay Hungry Like the Wolf" and that Duran Duran song and dance. Duran Duran, hungry like the wolf. Uh, it's a ten for me. I can't. Uh, it's ten. Hungry like the wolf. Ten out of ten. Uh, Eighty-nine percent say yes. That is going on the playlist. Let's ten. now wow. listen to my track. I vote. By the way, I got my Wilkshake music page, so I can vote. I'm voting on this shit, bros. I'm, I'm, I'm no longer. I'm no longer not voting. I'm making time to vote. This is my pick now. Everybody, bow down. This is gonna be the best track in the championship of the whole tournament. This is Jizza from Wu Tang, the Genius. Words from the Genius. Love that album. Let's get to it. Them are bold words coming from a show with Black Thought in it. <laughs> right. Over here, I'm eternal. That's mine. Y'all niggas step the fuck off. Y'all niggas ain't crazy for real. Yo, the things ain't coming fast enough. There is no cut that's clear enough. I can't fold, I need gold, I need up and reload. Fuck, 
the monkey show. Yo, I'm deep down in the back streets, in the heart of Medina. About to set off something more deep than a misdemeanor. Under the subway, waiting for the train to make noise. So I can blast a nigga in his voice for wow. what? I pushed up on the block and make the dope cells drop like the crash in the Dow Jones stock. I had to connect across seals to catch more mills than whole bitches got birth control pills. I'm in the park, setting up a deal over blunt fire. Bum nigga sleeping on the bench, they had him wired. Peep my convo, the address of my condo. And how I changed a nigga named the John Doe. And while he set up camp, he got damp. With the stake through his heart, I ripped his fucking things apart. Snake got smoked on the set like Brandon Lee. Blown out the frame like Pan Am Flight 103. He got swung on, his lungs was torn. The kingpin just castled with his rope and lost the corn. A regular on the block, the plate looked out. For playing predator with a Glock, he should have took out. No neighborhood is rough. Enough. There is no clip that's full enough. I can't fold, I need gold, I re-up and reload. Product must be sold to joke. Yeah. Things ain't coming fast enough. There is no cut that's clear enough. I can't fold, I need gold, I re-up and reload. Product must be sold to Yo, it's mandatory that I supply all my troops with mega firearms, big apes, and spread them out like crops on the farm to get cream. Sometimes they would paint the scene, like the last episode on gigs and ever niggas plant bombs to the smoke from the blast becomes thick and flows through. All they knew, he's gun sick, his Glock clicks like high heel shoes on parquet floors, mad sick. Stand on hills and invade wars, filthy foul, shoveling dirt, he's out to hurt. For instance, he chop off hands to tap rope. His idols will lock down airports and next door. I'm in port, catching 10% of what the fiends snort I've been to ski resorts and pin hills and move keys And had a skis making drops with snowmobiles The plan was to expand, catch seven figures Release triggers and live large and bigger than my nigga Who promised his mom's a mansion with mad room She died and he still put a hundred grand in the tomb Open wounds, he hid behind closed doors And still organized his crime and drug wars Things ain't coming fast enough there is no cut, it's pure enough. I can't fold, I need gold, I read up, I be low, product must be so to you. No neighborhood is rough enough. There is no clips that's full enough. I can't fold, I need gold, I read up and reload, product must be so to you. But there's no cuts, it's tight enough. There is no niggas that's fuck with us. I can't fold, I need gold, I read up and reload, product must be so to you. Gotta get that gold. I think he could have rode out the beat a little longer, even with the chorus, maybe a couple more times. I mean, still though, storytelling is an 11. Like this track, this is a perfect hip hop track. The beat is solid. I felt like I was in the park watching it go down. You know, like I felt like I was right fucking there. That is visual, vivid storytelling. That's incredible. Uh, it is my track, so I'm biased. It's obviously a perfect 10. I mean, Jizz is the fucking man. That That is a perfect hip hop track in every way. I can't find anything wrong with that. I'm going to get out a, a perfect 10. Ignacio, what are you saying? I am saying that, yeah, that was dope. Obviously, it's a classic track. Um, something that, that if you're and, a hip-hop and mixed head, in the same era as uh, the pillage by Capadonna that we heard earlier today. The vo- vocal present, clear, you can hear every word perfectly. Go ahead, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> You are you're really trying to make sure that you that you hype up Jizza right now. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> um okay, so again, yeah, classic classic track. I mean, if you're a hip hop head, you know you've heard this track forever. It's probably stayed in your rotation for ever. Twenty years. Um, years. You know you know what I'm saying? Um I think for me it was interesting to to see the development of some of like where Jizza was what Jizza was doing and how like 
bar bar heavy he was um and and the wordplay that kind of emceeing has developed into what we heard from wax right so there was a lot more straightforward just bar heavy like just straightforward bars coming from jizza where wax was was jumping in and out of of floating all over the you know you know different ways right so i think they both do what they do masterfully i think this is still a nine but i don't know if it's still the nostalgic of i know jizz is good but it is it's still the nostalgic of it's just a classic track or or what you know i don't know but i'm gonna give it a nine solid nine chuck what do you say I thought this was excellent. Um, the uh, so what what really stood out to me um, was that nearly every single bar that was delivered didn't stand on its own, and I don't even mean in the sense of like being part of the broader story, and that each one connected to the previous one, and it was you know there was kind of an, an evolution with. In the bars, it was there was always a reference to the previous one, and in some way or another, in almost all of them, and so it really did weave, kind of, a it was, it really did kind of weave the lyrics together continuously, and not just in the story, but in the the way the bars were actually connected in concept um, from one to the other, and that was really really impressive. Like very few of them were just a thing said by itself. Um, and that was, that was really, they impressive. All, it was all, it was all connected. It was all connected. Yeah. Um, and that was, that was really cool. Um, just kind of everyone kind of connected to the previous one. So, um, yeah. and, uh, and yeah, like, you know, the, all the other aspects of it were great, but you know, that was what stood out to me very specifically. Well that said. I thought was really, really cool. So, uh, that, uh, that's going to be a nine, two for me. Nine, two from Chuck. Lady Puddock, what are you saying? Yeah, uh, the construction of it was very polished. It was gritty. It was hymnal. Um, this ticks all the boxes. I'm going to give it a 9.5. 9.5, presto. Yeah, um, th was this on Liquid Swords? Yep. So I probably heard this song back in the day. I just I really don't remember it. It sounded new to me, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I really, really like the feel of the track, the, the feel of the uh, beat, and then, like, just his bars on top of it. It just kind of all fit really, really nice together. Uh, give you that feeling, like a little bit of an uneasy feeling. Um, that uh, all that being said, I, I think that there are a couple Jizza tracks that I like more. Um, I'm gonna still give it a 9.25. 9.25, get voting every now. Right now, the vote is live. Never heard this beat. This is lyrical fitness as we get spiritually drifted, energizing and gifted like it's a day before Christmas. I've been feeling so restless like there's no more contestants. Won every game that I've played, paid off for my investments. What else can be done when you've already won? Keep writing and spitting because the war is never done. Last night I listened to Pun and it inspired me to rip. Worked on getting some tips about the way that I spit. If you can't reach out, then you're running on fumes. Sprinting through time while blaring the same tones. No matter which way you turn, it seems that you're doomed. Take a big bowl of soup and you can borrow this spoon. Wake up and fucking work. Dream of succeeding. Will your way to the top with your open heart bleeding. Stay calm when you lose because it's one step back and two steps forward just to keep it on track. Well, shake. 67% say wax. I am done. Wow. I lose. <laughs> I lose. <laughs> crowd, wow. respectfully, I disagree, uh, but the crowd has spoken. So the crowd has spoken. My guy is out already. It is what it out is. Out already. Out already. Uh, I, can't, I can't. I can't. Wow. I, I'm not gonna like. Well, I, I know wax. wax is wax is dope, but I didn't. I didn't. Did not see that coming. Dude, is twelve votes. That's pretty. That's pretty. Cute. Was it twelve? Was that what it was? Yeah, twelve yeah. votes. 91 percent 91 percent no it's nine well nine votes on the wax for uh the vote that uh the vote that i just said said 12 votes 12 votes was do you want it on or not nine was wax or jizza oh, okay cool well anyway so so wax still won um i'm, yeah, I'm, I'm tracking I think, them all so <laughs> i think it, i think it takes a couple seconds to show up on my chat on uh, my anyway uh let's get into match three everybody match three we got for